All right, welcome back to another installment of Robert's Raw Footage. We're here with Nick, who's going to be demoing the Lens Baby Composer with the swappable optic system, which we have mounted there on my E3. Hello, baby. Be gentle. All right, Nick. Gentle? Why? It's an E3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess the lens baby is not weather sealed. So, uh, again, here we have the lens baby composer on Derek's E3. It comes in uh, a handful of mounts. Um, Nikon, Sony, Canon, Canon Pentax, Pentax Four Olympus, thirds. yeah, basically everybody. And uh, uh, first highlight feature um, on the composer is it's got a uh, barrel focusing. You can see it. Okay. Optic move in and out, and a locking ring for that special lens baby uh, move. Yeah, that would be the sweet spot positioning, I think. Yes. Um, they do have a nice little chart on their website uh, showing where your sweet spot will be with different uh, apertures. Now, there is no real mechanical aperture system in here. you got to manually swap those in and out. Um, and actually, if I do this right, should be able to show you live what the lens baby sees. Which is, of course, the point of using E3 there. Wonderful. Alright. So, you get the massive depth of field, and you can see that sweet spot move. It's actually kind of hard to see the sweet spot moving. Why don't you go ahead and grab a picture of me there with the sweet spot. Pointed at the camera. Yeah. Ding. And then we can change that. Focusing on the wall behind. All right, we'll be able to pass so, those in. Now, um, again, if you want to do an aperture change, you have a kit of apertures that you manually insert, and they are uh, magnetized plastic uh, from 2.8 down to 22. Uh, they also have a custom aperture kit, um, which you can buy from Lens Baby. Uh, it comes pre-stamped with a heart and a star and then some blanks that you can uh, cut yourself. And here we've got some of those. And of course that's a way to make really interesting colored or uh, shaped bokeh. Um, here Derek's got an umbrella that he carved. Um, a kind of grimy smiley face there. And a buckshot pattern that does really neat effects to uh, large out of focus light areas. Of course that being bokeh, right? Um, so obviously if you use like the, the heart or the star, if you have out of focus lights instead of being like octagons or glowing orbs, they'll be hearts or stars, which yep. is kind of cool. Now also, swappable optics is the other neat thing about the second series of Lens Baby here is that they have plastic optic, um, it ships with a glass doublet, which is a little more expensive than the other op um, options. And we'll have the um, sharpest sweet spot. Yep. Um, here you've got your Holgify tool. Um, your not quite as blurry tool and the single glass optic is kind of the traditional lens baby look and the pinhole zone plate um, switchable optic which actually and this is just their brilliant design here um, your tool for changing the optic caps the box so you extend it all the way now to remove the optic you have your tool which is actually the lid to your carrying case you pop the optic on, or the tool onto the optic, there are three spots, and twist and pop. Pop it out, and you sit your next one in, line it up with your tool. Now you might have been able to notice there, the optics are color coded. The bright green is the doublet, this purple is the zone optic. It looks like yellow is single glass, and kind of a blue is the are. plastic optic. And so then you've got a switchable internal optic here. Let's see if we can see it there. Yep, you can see the two little holes down there. You can use the tip of the, the aperture tool. Where'd that get off to? There you go. You can use this magnetized tip. And you can just slide those back and forth. It's got a zone plate and a pinhole. Pinhole's like F200 and something. It's ridiculous. For, yeah, extremely long exposures. We tried it up in the office earlier and it took 40 seconds to expose in fluorescent and daylight. So. Again, you twist, pop it out, goes in its case. 
Now, as you can tell, Lynn's babies are kind of a pain to work with at some times. They take a lot of work and care, and it forces you to slow down and think about your shoes. So if you're asking why deal with all of this in a world of, you know, fastest autofocus and all of this, why deal with a completely manual lens? Uh, you can look on their website. They have updated their galleries with new photos taken with the different optics and settings. And there is a distinct look that comes from lens babies. And if that look is for you, this is the most controlled way to get it. The composer and the control freak allow for repeatable settings. They can be set so you can do studio work with them. The original Muse is a is the cheaper version. It's based off the original Bellows design where you just kind of squeeze in and out and the effects are less repeatable with that one. So, highlighting the ephemerality of art or something.